Hi. Hello. I have some question that I would like you to um uh, like uh, uh you you was uh, sh uh said earlier you had um, own of your restaurant and be a teacher and as I am as a student a cooking student cook um uh, yep. when when the thing is not going right when the thing is going wrong, when we were discussed about the preparing to serving and everything going wrong, I believe that you have some experience, you know, working with the student and the thing going wrong. How you control your tempo? <laughs> Sorry about that, but how can you do that? Okay. And yeah, with your with the emotional, oh, I prepare this and it doesn't go in right. Oh, what should I do? And to me, yes. I have that problem. Any idea? How can we survive with those uh, in difficult situation? I believe all of us in here meeting, we will have that in the future. Do you please give us some advice? Yes. Okay, uh, New York. Thank you for the question. My first advice is uh, to, to do two steps behind to get some perspective. Uh, when you are working, uh, it could be when you feel uh, collapse or you feel the, that you are not able, uh, being able to cope with the situation uh, before the service time, you are preparing and you see that you uh, you will you won't be on time to prepare everything for the service time. Sometimes New York is good to stop for two minutes, just stop for two minutes, stop doing uh, anything and uh, only tidy up the station order the station and wash the station and it's like the physical fact of uh, ordering your station orders your mind just take two two or uh, five minutes for that and uh, it's like uh, you order your mind you relax a bit Okay, and you then you take another two minutes to set some preferences. Perhaps you won't be able to be on to get, get ready every everything on time, but you set some preferences. So that's uh, that has to be done. Uh, yes or yes. Uh, this is not so important. So you have to set some preferences and start again. Okay, that's the uh, before service time. The other, uh, the other uh, part is during the service time when the customers are at the dining room, and you get collapsed. You uh, the service time is not going uh, correctly, and uh, uh, you feel lost. The same, uh, uh, the same more or less the same procedure. No, when you in your station in your uh, kitchen, you have a lot of orders, the papers, okay, hang on the on the station, lot of tables, lot of customers waiting for their meal. So it's good to stop a bit and first order the 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 orders and one by one. Which is the the first one? This one. We are going to place this one, and then we are going to place the or, the other one. So not try to prepare all of the tables at the same time. So is uh, slower. You will uh, go a bit slower, but it's better for you to go by order. So uh, the tables that you are serving, try to one by one serve the best uh, you can. Okay. The best you can buy it one by one, not all of them at the same time. What happens during the same time near your is that uh, uh, when you uh, feel worried and get collapsed because you are not uh, being able to cope with the service because there are a lot of tables, what uh, the biggest mistake, in my opinion, is that we try to make them everything at the same time, all of the tables. And this is a uh, in those situations, in my opinion, is not a good policy. It's better to slow down a bit and take tables one by one. We are going to serve first this table and the, the, uh, 
according the time they are waiting, the, the coming time, you start plating and serving table by table. Okay? And if you get more relaxed and you uh, get the control of the situation again, and you feel uh, confident, then you can start perhaps plating uh, tables uh, two by two, okay? Not one by one. But is, uh, in those situations, it's better to slow down a bit the 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 pace the path of the pace of the of the service the rhythm of the service okay i don't know whether i have answered properly your your question is your um i mean i mean that yes uh, yes you answer uh, correct um the point is that i understood that we need to calm down but when some point uh, when we are running with chef a chef they have been have experience and we are not the person who have experience and then the, i feel that i have a pressure and how how i can running with the chef at the same time to 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 get into the right um to to not to feel like a fear or not confident on and that what i i feel when i get into the real situation yeah okay uh in my experience near York, there's another mistake that we uh, commit in those situations. Then when we start shouting. That I heard all the time, but how we can avoid that when, when somebody is shouting at me? I, I don't like to hear that, but oh, we just need to suffering the chef shouting at, at us and then uh, standing down working you know close our ear and close our eye and doing the job what is trying to be done and it's not only the chef uh with the working because uh a waitress, waitress. and the owner they will be coming are you lady are we working on it's a uh, how can you how can we try to uh be calm and uh, hmm, with your temper you know with the how this is the thing that i feel that myself uh i not get used to that yet yeah it's it's uh, okay. It's uh, uh, it's about to get used to it, but also it's about uh, to uh, slow down your uh, your uh, temper a bit and uh, not isolate, but maintain it separately. The, the chef is shouting. It's true. The waiter is shouting. Uh, they are worried. The, the, the waiter is uh, looking at the faces of the customers. Okay, and is he's very stressed or she is very stressed, the waiter or the waitress, but is uh, to uh, order your yourself and say, okay, I have to start with this, with this, with this, and by pre by uh, coming order of the of the customers, serve one by one and try to do it correctly because uh, this way near your. You want uh, you will commit just one mistake. That is, the uh, customers perhaps will have to wait a bit longer. But uh, you won't commit the second mistake. Is they have to wait longer, and the meal is not correctly done and not correctly plated. So there, are, those are two mistakes. Okay. So it's it's important in those uh, situations. Uh, to get some perspective, to put in order the, the papers and say, well, no, the first table is this one, the second, this one, and go one by one. If you try to plate uh, two or three or four tables at the same time, chaos. That's my, my yep. advice. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. So, hello the, the rest of of you and thank you for your question earlier because it's, it's a very common situation in restaurants. And the the following uh, the following part we are going to to check is the the materials about use of local products. Okay. The use of uh, local products are in. You will find them. This is the first floor of our kitchen, and uh, using. Yes, using the F uh, button, you will go downstairs to the zero floor. And here you have the 
material related to local products. OK. And we have this part. It's interesting part. Use of local products. OK. Uh, I was attending the class uh, provided by O'Brien, the, the Irish uh, lecturer, and uh, he talk uh, widely about uh, sustainability, local products, and the advantages of local products, OK? Uh, meaning uh, related to uh, sustainability, to env environmental stuff, and economical stuff also, no? Uh, the, that the money gets, uh, you, the money you spend in products, it's uh, in your area and helps to maintain economically your, your social uh, net. OK, but uh, I would like to uh, here we have some uh, different uh, materials. OK, and uh, to uh, apply or to use local products is not also environmental, environmentally sustainable, is not also economically viable, it's also uh, trendy and also uh, I would like to appeal for uh, cultural stuff as well. Okay, uh, I have been uh, checking your your menus, and I uh, I liked a lot uh, the use of uh, local products and also the use of uh, different cultural stuff. For instance, in Omnia, this is a product that has uh, uh, taken a lot of my attention is lamp quarters. Okay. Uh, this edible plant that you are using in your menus, okay? And it's really interesting because I didn't uh, know this ingredient and it's great that uh, you use this kind of uh, ingredients at the same time mixing with uh, Asian uh, techniques and Asian uh, products like uh, gyozas, okay? So uh, it's, it's great, it uh, gives to your menu for the pop-up event, I mean, to your menu gives a lot of uh, personality, okay? And uh, just a question, what's the flavor of uh, lamb quarters, this edible plant? It tastes, it tastes like a spinach, in my opinion. Uh-huh, it's like yes. a spinach. Yes, uh -huh. exactly, the taste like that. Mm -hmm. I will try it. And has any nutritional uh, uh, special value or... or Yes, they they exactly the correct um the nutrient like a spinach. Mm -hmm. they, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, when you we speak about uh, local products, it's in my opinion it's great to introduce it in your menus, pop up event menus, because it gives a lot of personality to your to your menu. Tartu, for instance. Uh, I I I love the 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 draft of, of Tartu menu because of uh, different products. And one is the, the Sprat, the, the Sprat fish. I didn't know it. I I know different, uh, uh, this kind of fishes we use may, mainly in our culture, use anchovies and use uh, pilchards, okay? But uh, Sprats, it was like new for me. And it's like uh, catches your attention and gives a lot of personality. What's the Sprat? And what I was investigating what Sprat was, and it's interesting is uh, to use this kind of menus, and not also local products, but also local uh, culture uh, plates like uh, Kamamus dessert that uh, you are using in in Tartu in your uh, menu draft. Okay, so. Uh, for a uh, Vamia, for instance, for, uh, when you design your menu, okay, it's good and it's great to use this kind of uh, local ingredients and uh, also connected to your own cultures, okay, because it's possible and it's enriching to mix different cooking cultures, but using local produ uh, products is like catches your attention, okay. Uh, Connected to, to this, uh, we prepare some uh, materials about current trends in food, food service and food presentation related uh, with uh, sustainability. Okay, so sustainability is 
nowadays trend is uh, I think it's uh, we all know that it's really really uh, we lot of pay we pay a lot of attention with uh, this stuff okay with sustainability health and back to the origins okay to our cooking cultures uh, healthy and natural food uh, is it's it's trendy okay organic food seasonal and nearby products and also everything connected to flexitarianism question what's flexitarianism Anybody knows what flexitarianism is? Okay. Flexitarianism is it's a kind of diet, okay, where you don't uh, you don't give up eating any kind of ingredient. You can eat or you eat. Uh, vegetables, meat, fish, okay, any kind of ingredient or protein source, okay, but try to reduce as much as possible animal origin uh, proteins, okay, trying to avoid it as much as possible, not only for uh, animal care uh, questions, but also for sustainability questions, okay, for environmental questions, Okay, and also for diet questions. Okay, it's try to uh, reduce and to uh, use animal origin proteins less and uh, of uh, proteins of better quality. Okay, that's the the, the concept of flexitarianism. Uh, Mediterranean diet has been put as a typical example of flexitarianism. Okay less protein but better okay and if you can nearby protein and also about food novel food nutritionally high valued ingredients and alternative proteins okay organic food you can have or you have here different materials about organic food okay about how are produced the ingredients okay this is the the main concern then we have uh, consumption of of these products okay seasonal nearby products zero kilometer products okay which ensures at o'brien says said two weeks ago okay you get the ingredients at their best quality moment and most of times at their best price okay uh, we have here some videos you have here some materials about a local uh, gathering local ingredients and uh, the concept of flexitarianism okay you have some uh, information about what flexitarianism is and nutritionally high valued ingredients okay some ingredients have become trendy because their nutritional properties called i don't know whether very very fortunately but called superfood okay they don't replace good nutritional habits, okay? And novel food. You have to know that novel food at, are regulated by, by the uh, European Union, okay? What's uh, ro novel food and what isn't novel food. And then we have also alternative proteins, which are quite trendy nowadays, okay? The, the search for alternative proteins to the meat, or fish uh, origin okay so we have here uh, jackfruit insect uh, insect proteins okay could be in powder could be as a whole okay we have different alternative proteins and about service uh, trends we have different trends that have become have developed more because of the COVID-19 which is delivery and takeaway okay in Spain, at least, uh, all the, the delivery way and takeaway have developed a lot in, in just one year, okay? And high, uh, high standing restaurants have joined this, this trend. And then we have the vending, which has developed a lot 
the, the bending uh, way, and also the groserants. What's groserant? Do you know any groserant in your in your towns or in your cities? And have you seen any any restaurant like this in in Helsinki or in in, in in Estonia, in Finland. Here, the grocery and this trend is becoming more and more popular in, in Spain, okay? Because the with especially with the with the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, uh, <coughs> retail uh, retail uh, shops have uh, uh, earned a lot of money have become uh, have got a lot of uh, power and they have started opening restaurants inside okay and offering meals inside the markets and the supermarkets okay those are groceries is the mixture between uh, market and restaurant okay and it's a a trend that goes uh, more and more popular okay And about sustainability, uh, Irish lecturer spoke a lot of, about that, okay, but uh, most of restaurants go for uh, zero waste, okay, and also for different, uh, not only economical and environmental sustainability, but for social, social sustainability, okay. Later, later on, we will speak more about food presentation. Okay, but uh, this is really, really important. Food about food presentation. Two uh, short questions to explain. Okay, the way you present your dishes could be a great source of source of marketing, and plating current trends, uh, simplicity and elegance could be a good option. And don't try not to overcrowd the plate. Okay, later we will speak about food presentation aspects and also different concepts of food service, okay, open uh, kitchen restaurants. Okay, so again about uh, about the consumption of local products bear in mind that it gives a lot of uh, personality to your menu. When you develop your uh, menus for the pop-up event, please try to use them because it's uh, it enriches a lot your your uh, proposal, okay? Then we will go to cooking techniques, the following aspect, cooking techniques. Ah, sorry, something that I have uh, forgotten. Uh, I ordered to you in some uh, task about uh, about local products and was to choose one local product and one local and seasonal product that you would like to promote. Okay, so uh, I have seen some uh, things like that in Omnia and Tartu, but in Bamia, uh, George and uh, the rest of the team, have you think about or have you thought about uh, any local product that you would like to to promote? Have you something in mind? Related to this, ah, uh, yeah, I need your yes. Uh, I know, like here in Baasa. Yeah. I know, like a place that, like, they produce local, local vegetables if i'm not mistaken 
like nearby here in Vaasa. So, and also oh. some of the restaurants here, they serve, uh, they serve locally, uh, they purchase locally grown uh, ingredients from here. They uh -huh. serve their restaurants. Uh -huh. And uh, near your east, uh, any ingredient or, uh, that has uh, caught your attention? That you say, oh, I would like to cook this or try it with with this ingredient. In uh, it's like they have also uh, salmon and also pike perch, uh, white fish. I'm sorry, white fish. So uh -huh. it's they are also wholesaler here. Like they produce in some of the rest. Uh, they <coughs> they provide some of the restaurants here. Mm -hmm. uh, w what kind of white fish? I'm not really sure what kind of white fish is that. I just know that uh, because before I work in a restaurant here and we purchased the fish from there, directly from there, and they said that uh, all the, I uh, some, some of the restaurants here in, here in Vaasa purchase from them mm -hmm. okay so it's it's interesting in in your uh, in your menu for the pop-up event just to to be curious and to try uh, to try different uh, ingredients in local ingredients but it's with by curiosity to check them to taste them to manipulate them and to think that something that could be appealing okay because it's uh, when you use uh, something different or, or I don't know, it's like uh, it's it catches your your interest. OK, so try it near your OK and make proofs at home and try to 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 cook them, whether it, it, it's worth to to include to include in your uh, menus. OK. Yeah, not only, uh, of course, sustainable, uh, by, because of sustainability or because of uh, economic and stuff, but also for culture. OK. OK, and, OK, thank you. That is good. And. Uh, OK. And the following part was about cooking techniques. OK. different cooking techniques. We have here what kind of cooking techniques the task was about cooking techniques, presentation and plating. Try a recipe using your local product, combine two techniques, traditional or modern one, and would you mind to show us uh, the result? Okay, picture or a video. So I have seen the, I have watched the, the video of Omnia it's really great, great, okay. And I have uh, seen the, I have read the the draft of Tartu, very very interesting, okay. So, please, when you use, uh, when you choose your local product, make proofs, okay, and record them, picture, a video, or your ideas, so you can share them in in your uh, blogs, your uh, Facebook group, and. And we can add some uh, feedback. OK, about cooking techniques. We have here a presentation. And cooking techniques, uh, old style and new cooking techniques. And the most important part for me is the, the reason of the, the reason to be of those techniques. OK. So we have like two groups, the old style techniques, modern techniques. The old style techniques were originally was just to make food more digestible. It was like this and digestible and safe. That's it. That was the, the main purpose. OK, and for that purpose, they used available resources. Uh, in some places, just a bit of uh, wood and fire, and that was the there wasn't pots, pans, uh, gas, induction. So that was the, the the only available resource. 
and in other places where fresh food was not available, that was just to preserve, okay, and uh, to cover somehow uh, possible bad smells or or flavors, okay. Those are all style techniques, okay. The purpose of them wasn't uh, and so uh, wasn't uh, gastronomical, but just was the purpose was uh, to prepare the food to have uh, to eat them, okay. The modern techniques have another uh, purposes, another aims, another objectives. Could be enhanced flavors. Modern techniques could be useful for regularity. To obtain regularity means obtain always the same result. Okay, it's a like a mathematical uh, uh, rule. Okay, always the same result. To surprise using new textures could be surprising. Okay, could be catch your attention, could be a bit of show, and also, of course, in restaurants, in businesses for economical profit. Fast cooking techniques, we have a different part of them. We, we know most of them could be roasted in salt, could be boiled in sea water. Uh, our ancient uh, fishermen and fisherwomen used to get the water of the sea and boil fish and seafood uh, on the ship while they were fishing. Okay. Salted and smoked, very typical in, in uh, Scandinavian countries, okay, to salt and to smoke fish, meat, or whatever, to stew uh, and to confit. Why was so popular to stew in all times? It was so popular because to stew was like to put everything together in a pot, to cover it, and to cook everything in the, in their own juices. Okay, it was like this. Okay, a stew. It was very very basic cooking technique. From cold, put everything together and to stew it. Okay, and also in some places to confit, which means to cook in their own fat. Very typical in in France with uh, duck products with. Uh, pork products as well, okay? It's just to put uh, uh, the the meat with their own fat and to cook it, okay, in a in a pot, and then you can preserve it canned, okay? It was very old style cooking techniques, and we have here modern cooking techniques, different cooking techniques, okay? The first one has be or became very popular in, in in Spain at least and in other countries, okay, the molecular cooking and was to transform different ingredients, okay, using their uh, chemical properties to get different uh, surprising, surprising textures, flavors like spherifications, foams, jellies, okay, was like uh, to offer the, the ingredients in a different way, in a surprising way, okay? More related with uh, with show cooking, okay? It was like something uh, when you uh, offer or you plate be, uh, in front of the customer a preparation with nitrogen, okay? It's like a lot of uh, spectacle, a lot of show on that, okay? And it could be interesting and could be uh, exciting for the customer. We have another uh, technique could sous vide. I, I, I guess you know this, uh, you have worked with this kind of techniques, sous vide, which means to cook under vacuum. And uh, sous vide has a lot of advantages, which is mainly consistency. Always, you always get the same result, okay, always. It reduces costs a lot and enhances flavors and textures. Okay, do you use a uh, sous vide technique in your schools, in your restaurants? Do you use sous, sous vide technique? Yeah, we practice few of. Uh huh. We, uh, 
uh, with which kind of uh, ingredients do you use? Uh, steak and especially that pork. Uh -huh, for pork, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And there are long cooking processes in time, I mean? Yeah, it, it is. It is long processes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the main advantage of, of sous vide is that uh, once you get the formula, the, the way to, to cook properly something, the result is always the same. Okay, you mm -hmm. apply two yeah. aspects that are time and temperature, and you yeah. always get the same result. And the preservation time is really, really, really long because the pasteurization rate is also very long. Okay, so a uh, lot of uh, restaurants and uh, companies use this kind of technique because of these uh, advantages, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, those are mainly uh, the, the techniques difference between old time and uh, old style and new techniques. We have here a video, a video that mixes somehow both techniques, okay? It's a, a recipe with pork. It's a Iberian pork uh, piece, okay? It's a specific part of the Iberian pork, okay? It's in the shoulder. This this piece is in the shoulder of the pig, okay? First they have seared the piece, then they have sealed it under vacuum and they have cooked in a, a hot muddy vein, okay? This is the piece. And then they are going to seal it in a charcoal grill, in a green egg. The Iberian pork meat is quite similar uh, to red meat, okay? It's quite red, okay? It's a very, very tasty pork meat. Those are, uh, now they are preparing some uh, cheese pearls with agar agar. They have done it with agar agar. And they put the pearls in cold uh, sunflower oil, okay? This way, the outside of the pearls get uh, solid, solid, okay? and the inside is creamy. And once the, the surface is solid, they get it out. And now they plate the, the Iberian prey. As you can see, the, the the meat is like uh, veal or beef meat. It's very, very red, 